Stans, welcome back to Divemus. <laughs> Woo! Today, we're learning about David Dobrik, who I teased in the last deep dive, if you remember, in the post credit scene. I do. People love that. Previously, we've talked about how Casey Neistat revolutionized vlogging. Yeah. Um, and, well, David Dobrik, for better or for worse, revolutionized vlogging, but in a completely different way. Okay. What do you know about the bad stuff that's around David Dobrik, Stans? I have good news for you. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Back to normal. David as Dobrik usual. was semi popular in like 2020 when I started streaming. Okay. Because semi popular is crazy. He was the biggest fucking influencer in the world. Okay. Because I remember making jokes about David Dobrik, like Ludwig's going to buy me a Tesla when he's famous. That was it. That's my, right. that's all I know about David Dobrik. I watched one video, he hit his friend in the head a bunch of times, and I thought this guy sucks. David Dobrik was comedic, it was semi scripted, very parasocial, but incredibly fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, his look. videos were like 420 or something, right? They were yes. all short. Yeah. yeah, yeah every video that, yeah. was at four minutes, 20 seconds. We are going to be touching on all of the crazy bad shit that happened, mm -hmm. but we have to get there first. We have to give context context to how he got to be the biggest creator on YouTube. Yeah, totally. Do you know where he started, Stan? Not even a clue. He was a Viner. Oh, oh, a lot of these people were Viners. I, I like some Viners. I'll be honest. Uh -huh. I thought they're all going to be cringe and bad. And then like one in three, I was finding myself laughing. Like it, some of them are funny. And I, I was mean, there's very... a reason he was popular, right? Let's do it. Let's check out what David Dobrik was up to. Is that yours? I'm just holding it for my girlfriend. Thanks, babe. Yeah. You want some gum? Sure. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Your fingers can't fit in that. Here, use this. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, okay. every other one is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> Guys. What? We have a cart. This is so much easier. Yeah, thanks, David. He's so smart. Oh, no. Yeah, no See, some so of them are stupid. He hasn't said anything for like an hour. Is this your kid in the pool? Nah, our kid can't swim. <laughs> See, that one? That one's all right. That one's good. So, okay, there was a very hit and miss. Yeah. Uh, but the hits were okay. I feel like for for Vines, yeah. David Dobrik was kind of funny. Moving on from Vine, he, like most Viners, when it died, went, you know what? I'll make YouTube videos. And so here is David Dobrik's first vlog. Did he start immediately with vlogs? Pretty much. He had like three oh or four goodness. random videos and then this. This title and thumbnail is terrible. You guys won't get to see the thumbnail. It's him putting a puppy in a microwave. That is also the Try title. Vlogging. This is it. This is my first vlog. I don't know how long this is going to last, but hey, this is my first vlog, man. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's just start vlogging. What a dick. Okay, oh, so instantly, it's Casey Neistat pilled. Not only is it obvious the inspiration, but there's a slight twist to it, right? He's taken skit comedy mm -hmm. and put it into a real life scenario. So it feels like semi real because obviously he's there vlogging, but it was a like scheduled bit, right? He it's like he lives across. the funniest life in the world, right? Like that thing that happens is one in a million, you know, someone saying that, but it happened in his first vlog. So wow, look at his life. You're going to want to see more of this. And also this title sequence in the same way that Casey Neistat's never changed. Neither did David Dobrik's. Every single vlog that he does, even to this day, mm -hmm. has the exact same do 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 Wait, to this day, is he... Is he around? I thought he was gone. Like, no stance. Spoiler alert. None of the cancellations worked. He still exists. Oh, I guess I didn't know that. Uh, but to be fair, yeah. not knowing what he got canceled for, not knowing what happened, I, I guess I just, he kind of disappeared from the zeitgeist. Most of this vlog, I will say he didn't have the source. He was just doing a vlog and saying funny things. Right. So it's nothing like his actual vlogs from like his peak era. Oh, so people um, who like were fans of David Dobrik, the vlogger would look at this and be like, oh, this isn't it yet. It's not ready. It's still you can, baby. You can tell that he's like still forging the behemoth that was his vlogs, right? This isn't, not there yet. Mm -hmm. If you skip towards the end of the video, I think he also then realizes we need a title thumbnail for this video. Oh, so that's he the goes dog. and visits his friend with like a, an insanely small dog oh. and puts it in a microwave because that's oh, normal. No. <laughs> Look, this is a real thing. It's crazy. The dog looks smarter than the guy. <laughs> like when it zooms in on the dog's face, it's like, dude, I'm tired of this shit. Today we're going to be preparing a puppy. Oh, I don't even like this as a joke. Don't put it in the microwave. We're going to throw them in the microwave. We're going to get them all warm. Okay, now look at me. 
perfect. That's the perfect thumbnail. <laughs> okay, not as bad as I thought. Okay, Oof, he's just going for clickbait. Yeah, he was just doing it for the clickbait. I thought he was going to even just fun. put it in the microwave, which made me uncomfortable. Okay, so he wasn't there yet, and yeah. he doesn't get there for a while, but we get a hint of his vlog style coming a couple of, like, I think this is a year and a bit later. This is more of a typical David Dobrik vlog because it's like something insane happens, and the main parts are basically their friends purposely trying to come up with funny one-liners for the vlog. Got it. So this is why we're getting evicted. You have to watch it. Like, wait, why is David and his friends getting evicted? And then they're just, they like wrote these jokes. So this is going to be like performed more than vlogged. Uh, it's not, it's not scripted necessarily. It's mm -hmm. like all improv, but they could have like said a funny line and then be like, oh, say that again. But I, my camera wasn't on you or something. Got like, it. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair. You think me getting it in here is impossible? You can get it in there, but it's going to fall. Then what is this, Zane? <laughs> yes! Oh my God! <laughs> Another cold open? I wonder where we've seen that before, Stan. Yeah, it was, it was a good one. Jason, what are you doing in my girl? I didn't know you were having people over. Hi, you must be David. I'm Jason. Yeah, I know who you are. Jason. What are you doing in my girlfriend's house? So obviously, pause here a second. This didn't just happen. Right? Yeah, this is a skit. I don't, uh, yeah, like what's happening here? Yeah, Jason will often be the improv crazy guy and play off whatever David says. It's like Gordy um, in the uh, two turret tony videos <laughs> yes i think the best part is he's not trying to convince you that it's real the audience is supposed to know that this is a, a faked funny bit but then there are some parts that are clearly not bits that i think are bits so the, right. the line is like blurred a lot yeah you watching. can't tell what the reality is from these videos the antics got more insane more mm. skits more stunts right you always have teslas. to one up the last thing yeah teslas i do know he gave away a lot of teslas surprising my best friend with the new tesla i should just be in david dober tesla giveaway david dober's tesla giveaway reactions my tesla flew off the ground david dober giving people cars for 22 minutes <laughs> just taking all yeah, that someone's just done it like a fan up yeah like, compilation times he's done it oh yeah this is just an example we can look at this one because this one's crazy here we go in three oh two, no one happy july 4th oh! <laughs> fuck me so that, as you can see, the vlogs are getting a lot fucking crazier, yeah. <laughs> right? That could have ended so poorly. This is years, like a, a couple of years down the line. Uh -huh. Those five seconds could have been like a vlog in itself early right. on. Like that would have been the main thing. Mm -hmm. But, but no, that would be that the putting like the dog a, in the microwave. Um, but it's just right. the open, yeah. And the main thing is surprising son with dream car. But to explain the sun part, we're going to go down the craziest fucking rabbit hole. Sure. Um, David Dobrik convinced Jason's mom uh. to marry him so that Jason would be legally his stepson. And that actually happened? Again, this is like the blurring reality with fiction. That's the tricky part, because I actually don't know if it actually happened. Fair. As like a, an adult that watched the vlogs, I couldn't tell. I couldn't right. tell if it was real. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> so that guy who was doing the comedy a few bits ago is now... David Dobrik's son. They probably have got divorced since, but yes. Sure. Uh, they had a hard time getting it reversed, I'm hearing. <laughs> We've officially made it to Jason's vacation spot. He doesn't know we're here. I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm going to greet him. You have no fucking idea we're here. Natalie's setting up the new car. Don't do it. Is that Jason's mom? Yes. That's so that's David wife. Dobrik's wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here for a second. I need your help with something. Thank you, honey. Thank you. How's vacation? Ah, shit, shit. Oh, God, David. Oh, that's got to fucking hurt. Oh, okay, so close. that, let me, let me, I was a little bit disingenuous earlier when I said I hadn't watched any David Dobrik because I had watched one David Dobrik video and in that video, I've seen a lot of parallels to this video in that one, he gave away, I think like three Teslas to his friends and two, right. he inflicted pain on them for seemingly no reason besides it being funny right of like yeah, i'm gonna give you this statement. thing but i'm gonna be mean to you it's almost like yeah you're my little my content slave boy like i'm gonna shoot you with a paintball <laughs> but i'm gonna give you a car and i hated it. it 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 made me feel really uncomfortable legitimately david was just in his mind i am trading your comfort and respect as a friend for views and that is okay like that is a good trade <laughs> yeah i remember telling my friends at the time most notably ludwig like doesn't this suck and they were just like no you just don't get it <laughs> and i was like ah, this sucks when you get to hurting people in exchange for like buying them out basically yeah. it's okay to hurt them because i'm buying you things that's mm -hmm. yeah there are some levels of it that are okay for the people involved i mm -hmm. think but it doesn't excuse the potential animal abuse um, because oh, no. he would get a shit ton of animals, exotic and otherwise, and 
get their friends to lie down on the ground and cover them with animals. I'm sorry, like if that was a more than once cover them with animals? So this is Liza, who was his girlfriend. Got it. Um, Liza was a huge content creator in herself. Okay. And when they broke up, it was like the biggest video that has like ever dropped ever. Oh, really? <laughs> um, I just have to mention, but it's not really relevant to like David as a creator. Right. And you can't sign him. Oh, it's like a little uh, sugar baby. What are those? What are those fuckers called? Flying squirrel. Sugar baby. What? Are, what am I thinking of? It's a sugar baby. It's like a little squirrel thing. Sugar baby. I have no idea. It could be a sugar baby. A uh, sugar sounds... sugar glider. Sugar. That sounds glider. like your fetish. No. no, dude, that's a sugar glider. You're gonna be reacting to it in a cute way. So be like, oh, it's so cute. Okay. okay. And so I should be scared until I realize it's cute. So she <laughs> thinks okay, it's a. She she's it's, like been it's told a toy. that it's staged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she's pretending to be really, really scared. And when the Which blindfold makes me comes think up, how much else is staged? If this is a common occurrence that she was like, oh, this is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think every everything is staged. I don't think everything is, but really? uh, it's just there's uh, there's probably a lot more staged than you realize. Right. First, for considering it a vlog, you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, we're putting it on you. What, David? What the? <laughs> David! <laughs> of me. Oh my. <laughs> okay, definitely. I, I am I crazy in thinking that there's like a double bait here? The, this is it was staged to be. It was this. staged to be staged, and she actually yes. knows a snake is coming because that. Yeah, is, I'm yeah. for sure it could be. Okay, um, great, great. Regardless, the animal doesn't know what the fuck's going on, and right. that's got to be a bit fucking trolling. Yeah, jarring. Someone always... screaming and moving a lot. Yeah. yeah. Should I know what the vlog squad is, or is that later? So, vlog squad were a group of people that. David always was with. And I'm going to try and list a few uh, and we'll put some images on screen so that Got people it. don't get mad at me in the comments for not mentioning these people. We have Jason, who we've seen, the old guy. Alex, the old friend. Corinna Kampf, who is OnlyFans lady who has done a bunch of her. stuff since David Dobrik and dated Todd at the time, who was another vlog squatter. Zane and Heath, who started their own podcast, I'm pretty sure that's doing well. Scotty, who had a music career for a little bit. Carly and Erin, they were involved, but I always felt like they were their own entity. Big Nick, who wasn't so big, Seth and Dirty Dom. I didn't recognize a single name besides Corinna. <laughs> they were like the OG people. We have some new people to add to the list. Natalie is personal assistant. Josh Peck, crazily, was basically one of the vlog, vlog squad after a while. I'm sorry, what? He was just like one of their friends that would go around to the house a lot. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, and Jonah, who I am not kidding, his real name is not Jonah. They only call him Jonah because he's fat like Jonah Hill. That's tough. That's and tough. And Jeff Wittick, who we will get to. There was also a stint where Jason dated Trisha Paytas. Don't act like you've never seen this face before, Stan. Oh, I remember you uh, said she was a dancer in Eminem music video. The biggest thing that she's been in that we wanted to talk about was Frenemies. Trisha and Jason dated. Sorry, Jason, so Jason is the guy who just got shot with the gun? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of stuff to hold on to here. <laughs> As David Dobrik got more and more popular, mm -hmm. he transcended YouTube, basically. Like, he was so big. The list of celebrities is actually kind of crazy that have been in a David Dobrik vlog. So, hold on to your seats, because this list is kind of crazy. In, like, his third vlog, he had Steve-O, randomly. Um, <laughs> That's sick. Howie Mandel, we've mentioned. Because of Josh Peck, Miranda Cosgrove and Drake Bell have been in vlogs. Obviously, Drake Bell, kind of cool. cringe, so yeah. <laughs> not as great. Riley Reed, you'll love stan she's been in a david dobrik vlog a, fan of quite a few porn stars charlie puth the david musician dobrik vlogs yeah wow john stamos became like almost a regular in like the skits and stuff for like john a stamos is 60 years old what <laughs> jennifer lopez kylie jenner has been in quite a few and justin bieber it was basically like david dobrik's vlog was the equivalent of going on a saturday night live but right, it like was like a, the inverse. Like if you want to get the YouTube audience, instead of going on SNL for like the network TV audience, you went on David Dobrik and like promoted your thing. Yeah, yeah. And mm. you would get more eyes on it and more of the relevant audience that would care about yeah, it. Yeah, people who actually would so, care or buy it or check yeah. it out. Yeah. So as we've mentioned, the line between reality and this heightened crazy world was starting to get blurred. Mm -hmm. And doing literally daily vlogs can cause a lot of issues of trying to one-up yourself and trying right. to make the bigger and better thing. Well, especially when you are not bound by reality, right? If you are willing to do daily vlogs where you make up a situation, then it accelerates even faster than maybe like a regular daily vlogger. This is the vlog that I was talking about at the start where I was mm -hmm. like, no one even talks about this. You can like see the 
the like damage that is done and it's oh. kind of not very nice uh -huh. and not blurred at all and they kept it in and everyone laughs and then the vlog ends like it's, it's fucking wild let's watch that's jonah on the bike jonah's on the bike yeah i feel like he looks nothing like jonah hill yeah <laughs> you're right <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, he went oh way god. too far. Why did they do the short width and not the long? Well, I guess they have the house in the way. I think, I think he's in shock right now. I don't think you feel anything. Ah, oh, crap. I actually feel good. Just, I feel fine. We'll see adrenaline. Let's get Jonah into the hospital. David, let's get Josh? Josh, what That's you what doing saying. there, bro? He was just a member of the vlog squad. He wasn't even like there for a bit. Guys, 30,000 likes on this video and Jonah's gonna do it again. Fuck yeah. Oh no. Oh See no. See how fucked and like toxic that yeah. whole vibe is. It's it is very so, jackass pilled. I, yeah, I just can't believe that that like no one's talked about this. Like none right. of the drama we're going to talk about is anything to do with this. <laughs> right. This was fine and everyone watched it at the time and went, "Yeah, this is okay." Well, I mean, it's hard cuz um, Jonah seems to be like in a in good spirits. He rammed himself into the brake and it went inside his fucking stomach is awful Ugh. Uh, like it's not like a little thing like oh a little graze or whatever like yeah. no he actually went to hospital and got it fixed up uh -huh. but they end the video like oh ha, this he's is gonna so do good. it again even yeah now after that stands uh -huh. we're gonna get to the controversy so Before, so far he's just been a vlog guy he's just for like yeah. years and years he's just making vlogs he's just been making vlogs and then covid happened he stopped making vlogs so he wasn't like all of the other fucking cringe like jake pauls of the world that were like having parties and vlogging them and stuff who gives a fuck you know mm -hmm. he was actually following guidelines but during all of this um when everyone was stuck inside people started to like i don't know analyze david dobrik's vlogs and mm -hmm. people from david dobrik's vlogs started to come out and say hey yeah i was involved in this and this wasn't very good and it was like a snowball effect once one person had said it mm -hmm. other people felt more comfortable and then there was a whole host of bad shit yeah, it's, it's um, like me too. He got David Tood. <laughs> he got up. David Tood, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video, I will give you context. Yeah. Basically, Seth is one of the vlog squad early on that stopped appearing, and I think he stopped appearing because of these sets of like videos that we're going to watch. Mm. He gets pranked, and saying pranked is crazy, by thinking that he's kissing Corinna Kompf in a old man mask, mm -hmm. when really he's kissing Jason in an old man mask. Mm. Obviously, the levels of consent aren't really there when you're tricking someone into thinking they're kissing someone. That right, not. it's like the logical expansion of the snake one, right? Of like fake, fake, fake. So the only way that this is like okay is if it is the double bluff. If the person actually knows, and if we're saying that the person came out afterwards and said, "Hey, I didn't know," then yeah, the the house of cards comes crumbling down. <laughs> yeah, and they didn't know a hundred percent. Right. Seth, are you okay with making out with Corinna? Yeah. You gotta put padding. You look kind of dumb. But instead of going to the room and adding more padding, Corinna is gonna hop out of the outfit and have Jason put it on instead. Corinna's taking these off now. I'm switching with Jason. Corinna, are you okay with Tom? Yeah. Are you sure? Corinna's going, oh, oh, baby. Seth's yeah. like, this is my time of skin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Corinna, go. <laughs> Seth, Seth, stop, Seth, look. Seth, look. Seth. <laughs> So put yourself in Seth's shoes and mm -hmm. remember, first of all, how big David Dobrik is right. and how insane his vlogs were at the mm -hmm. time. Your whole entire worth as a creator currently, as Seth, is based around how well you do in the David Dobrik vlogs. And right. he's like, you have to oh, be you've funny. Got this, you have to be yeah, willing yeah, to go prank far. Bit. Yeah, yeah. So I would be preparing my reaction to whatever the prank was going to be afterwards. I'd be going all out. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't know if you ever have. I've been put in positions before where I feel like i can't show my actual reaction like my honest emotions in uh -huh. this moment so i'm gonna like do a fake laugh or be like oh ha, no way right. and then like later on fucking break down and cry because holy shit that was traumatizing and yeah awful, an awful feeling I didn't want to go through that yeah i couldn't show those emotions at the time because David's uh, fans will think I'm a weenie and that I'm ruining yeah. the content. Yeah. And also, he's there laughing with a camera in my face. Like, if mm -hmm. someone's laughing, there's often times you'll, like, just laugh along with them just for the sake of, like, if this is an awkward situation, fuck, get me out of this situation. Right. It's a safety so mechanism. That's personally how I feel this situation went down. Mm -hmm. And Seth has also said that was how it went down. So that, <laughs> Well, that's that, what matters. You know, that's, you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What's even worse about this situation is Seth, after this, had repeatedly said to David Dobrik, please 
I don't want to have anything like this. I hated this. I would prefer if you even took down the video. Mm-hmm. Um, and he didn't. And uh, instead decided to just do it again. So David did that again, even after Seth asked him not to. Yeah, it's in like a bigger version of the prank. No. Um, this is the full video. So this is just after that, after this whole thing. Yeah. What? Not too long after that, I had an idea to pull the prank on him again. Do I have permission to try to prank you again and get you to make out with Jason? I'm very confused by that because how the hell could you be so confident to tell me that I have to consent to something that I'm not going to know that I'm going to do? <laughs> this is how we were going to do it. I went over to Interesting. So pause like- there. Yeah. David left in the part where he asks if he has permission to right. consent to do this. Seth doesn't and say yes, to be clear. <laughs> Seth doesn't say yes. Yeah. No so video, he yeah. edits it enough so that the viewer can feel like that obviously... They had a discussion it, it, about when, it. Yeah, when I watched that, I assumed that he only left in those parts because those were the funny parts because right. he does every video with four minutes and 20 seconds. So he's got to like cut to the punch and he doesn't mm-hmm. want to have a whole five minute conversation about consent, assuming that it happened, right? Yeah. But it didn't. Oh, I uh, think Seth anyone who said, watched that, even me, who's like kind of jaded, saw that and it's like, oh, wow, he's like having the discussion. He he must have said yes because this seemed to be like a big thing in his life what seth says there is the closest he says to yes that was the closest the which is i don't show. understand how i could <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is, how can so i consent obvious. to something that i don't know is going to happen is basically what Correct. he said or how because or he what? said it yeah. Because he said it with a smile and he was yeah. being jokey because David was fucking vlogging him. Right. Uh, he can use that and it convinces the viewer in north that there's consent there when there wasn't right Okay, damn, that's crazy. So we hired three women to play the sexy Sasquatches so that Seth wouldn't notice when Jason switched out with one of them mid-shoot. And then we made sure to hire an additional 14 crew members along with the director, producer, assistant director, makeup crew, and audio technician. This is so elaborate for someone who was like, hey man, I'm not really comfortable with this. This could be a good video. Right? Yeah. Like all of the things that he's doing and the levels that he's going to to trick his friend. Yeah, the payoff just needs to be different. It needs to not be yeah. like he kissed a guy, haha, gay. You know what I mean? That's like that's what's just so yeah. awful about this is because mm-hmm. all he had to do was just make it not be this, right? Mm-hmm. Like change it slightly and put in the same amount of effort and you've got a great video that people would l- love. Yeah, know? it'd be a sick <laughs> prank. It's actually kind of fun because like <laughs> you did so much. Yeah, it's fucking music. Oh. Hell yeah, Seth acting his fucking chops off, dude. If only it was real, you know? <laughs> what the fuck? I, I, I get it. He's just, he's an actor. He's doing his best. This is, this would be a crazy commercial. Get into them. Maybe a little motorboat over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crash a yeah. lot Oh, God, the lack of music makes it even more uncomfortable. Keep going. So yeah, good. I feel so ill good. watching this. Bro. And congrats on your commercial, Seth. <laughs> Lots of stuff was blowing up with this. During this happening, another person came forward, but about a completely different situation, about Dirty Dom. Okay. Um, which he is aptly named because he is definitely a dirty piece of shit. Um, <laughs> confirmed essay, R word. He is, he's done it all. <laughs> so Okay. And this is on a David Dobrik vlog? Uh, yes, this is since deleted. Same with the previous two videos. Course, they will yeah, also yeah. have been deleted. And is this will, dumb? This is dumb. Okay. I will give you some context to all of this, but first we'll just watch it and see how it was portrayed in the vlog. Right, it's only two minutes. Hopefully, I have a five from tonight. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> oh, this is weird! <laughs> There's Trisha. That's actually very important that Trisha's there because she is an eyewitness to all of this. Right. Um, By some stroke of luck and master negotiating, Dom made progress. <laughs> We just need to get in there and do a head count for the vlog. We got we got three in there. Jordan's gonna peek in so he can describe it to me. Oh, shit. oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I can't look at that. Oh, we have to leave the apartment. How do you get horny just like listening to this? That's what happened. I opened the door and I was like, wow. That's... What is happening? Kind of it's actually this was this Holy was just shit. a bit of the vlog right it's not taken out of context this is exactly how it was in the vlog the only reason we have to watch it not 
on David's channel is because it's been deleted. Right. Um, Sorry, you said there was context? Well, first of all, there's a whole entire article that was published. The context to the situation is Dom basically sent out a message to this girl trying to get as many of her friends to be in a David Dobrik video. Right. Uh, it's not like, hey, come have sex with me for a David Dobrik video. No. It's just be on a David Dobrik video when, using yeah, his internet In reality, yeah. David is like, he's gone to either David has asked Dirty Dom to do this or Dirty Dom has gone, hey, I'm going to get I have a great idea over. for a video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try and make them all sleep with me. They were all under the drinking age. And it turns out that allegedly, I think I have to say allegedly, Todd and Jeff went out and bought alcohol for them all, got them all really drunk. And then one of them got very drunk and passed out. And unfortunately, she was one of the girls that she passed out in Dom's room. Mm -hmm. So this is a quote from the article now. Okay. Um, in phone interviews with Insider, <laughs> accused the Glatus of by engaging in sexual activity with her that night while she was so incapacitated by alcohol that she could not consent. She says members of the vlog squad supplied alcohol to her and her friends who were too young to buy it themselves. I think that quote in itself encapsulates all of the the things that could possibly be wrong with that situation. And right. again, we're not like uncovering this. This has all been... Uh, right, we're just over. we're reading the story, and this was people, just in his vlog. He's he's at millions of subscribers at the time this happens. Yes, um, people obviously had a problem with Dom. They were raising their pitchforks at David for platforming someone that would do this and for right. making it a uh, like a big part in the vlog, mm -hmm. especially with the whole creating a situation where you can invite fans over, give them alcohol, and let them and for like a pivotal part, the climax of your vlog being that they have a threesome when they're so drunk that they pass out from the alcohol that was provided by the adults in the situation is fucking insane it's literally um, the it's always sunny scene about the implication it's like oh you want to be in a david dobrik video well you know what you have to do and also here's yeah. a bunch of alcohol and it's like so grimy and shitty with this article coming out and the seth thing they happened within like a month of each other mm -hmm. um because of both of them happening david couldn't avoid any of this anymore especially it being an insider article right mm -hmm. um so he initially addressed both of the problems with this video on his podcast channel, which is crazy that it's hey on guys, his podcast channel. But. Right, I mean, this is, we've talked about this with Logan Paul and other things. It's like, hey, main channel is the issue, smaller channel is the apology. It's just, uh, unfortunately, the way you should do business uh, when yeah. you are in, and when you're in trouble. Uh, I will say this video is still up. This is not a real blow, this is on his channel. And, and it's still live, okay. I've made over 600 videos and I've made a bunch of TikToks, Vines, Instagram stories. I always make sure that whatever the video I'm putting out, I have the approval from that person. Um, and I also acknowledge that there's times where a person can change their mind and then I'll take the video down. And there's also been moments where I've looked back on videos and I realized that these don't represent me anymore. I've grown you know, as a content creator and as a person and I don't agree with some of the videos I've posted. Um, with, with the Seth situation, I'm sorry to Seth. I would just wanna make videos where everybody in it, you know, whether you're participating or watching, is enjoying and having a good time. And I missed the mark with that one. And I'm really sorry, I, I truly, truly am. Um, and with, with Which people is, we can in my pause life, there because yeah, that's mi crazy. Missing right? the mark because you didn't enjoy it or make him happy versus missing the mark because like you hurt a friend and like broke, bridged the trust that they yeah. had. And also there. him saying that like, he only wants to make videos that make people happy. Obviously not, because the whole <laughs> premise of that video is to do the opposite. So right. if you're going into, like if your concept of the video is to make a really bad situation for your friend, mm -hmm. then you aren't making videos for those reasons. You didn't just miss the mark. You're right. fucking, you're a different dartboard, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, unless you, I, I guess there's a world where he thinks that Seth would think this is like funny and enjoyable, but he, there's no like to stand on when after the first video, Seth, uh, according to Seth, talked to him and said like, hey, this made me uncomfortable. I didn't like it. I don't want to do it again. Yeah. And then he failed to get consent for the second one and kind of like faked it with that weird quote. Like Dom and, you know, the other people that I no longer film with, I, I chose to distance myself because... I don't align with some of the actions and I don't I don't stand for any kind of misconduct and I I'm I was just 
I've been really disappointed by some of my friends. And Whoa. for that reason- so, I, Oh, he's turning it around. Oh, yeah, shit. That's, that's uh, the only part that he addresses about mm -hmm. the whole Dirty Dom incident yeah. is that, hey, I don't film with him anymore. I don't like what he does. As though it wasn't in one of his vlogs and his friends weren't the people that fucking like allowed for that to happen, right? right? Like it was because it's in a David Dobrik vlog that any of that happened. It wouldn't have happened if it was just Dirty Dob. So yeah. it's fucking crazy. Yeah. And I also believe that actions speak a lot louder than words. That Maybe line put, really I'll annoys me in every single I'll fucking prove. YouTuber apology. <laughs> actions speak louder than words. Yeah, sure, dude. But we, you, right now, you, you, you're you going to do actions in the future, I guess. But your words <laughs> need to be better than the words that you're saying right now. When Just you giving say... a fucking dog shit apology and then going, actions speak louder than words. Fuck off. Give a better apology, dude. It's yeah. crazy. Also, I think when you say actions speak louder than words, you should almost always immediately follow up. And that's why I am blank, blank, yeah, yeah. blank, Here blank, are the blank. actions that I'm Be doing. Correct. Not just yeah, like, not, hey, there will be actions it. in the future. <laughs> <laughs> the minimal actions that he gives, he doesn't do. So, right. <laughs> which I think is a good time to switch over. People didn't like this, as you can imagine. Um, so right. he had a second try. Oh, comments are turned off on that one. <laughs> Interesting. He had a second try, but this time on his main channel. And again, ah. this is Hi, guys. And didn't even, the name is just the date? Come on, man. Uh, trigger warning, this video discusses multiple forms of trauma, including uh, and sexual assault, which we've talked about it on stream, but... Hey. I've put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past actions and I've never done this correctly and I've never done this respectfully and my last video is a testament to that. I, I, I don't want to defend that video. I don't want to delete that video. I just want to be clear. What this video isn't going to be is it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Kat, or any other woman involved. Maybe Sorry, can you something. explain to me, like, uh, Trisha, Kat, or anyone... So I know that Seth came out and said these things. I know that everyone was very upset about the Dom situation, but other people in that room have said something at this point. Uh, yeah, so Trisha was on the podcast Frenemies that mm -hmm. we talked about before. Um, Frenemies with her and Ethan and Ethan on his own H3 podcast were huge like figureheads mm -hmm. in getting the truth out there about all of these situations. Um, mm -hmm. Ethan got Seth on his podcast. Ethan has such a huge audience. Totally. That much bigger than what Seth does. So he used his voice to project Seth's. Right, so um, let Seth say what, exactly what happened or how he felt yeah. or yeah, the truth situation. And like you said, Trisha was there on the day of the Dirty Dom stuff. So she had like, it, she knew what happened, what was there on the day, and she was one of the people that backed up the fact that they supplied alcohol to the miners, mm -hmm. that it wasn't all Dirty Dom, right? And that right. what happened on the vlog, there was like even worse things, like one-liners and stuff that didn't really include, and she left that day, I'm pretty sure, because she had an argument with Jason, because she didn't feel like it was okay. Right. Uh, and it, there was like- I would hope vibes. so. I mean, I think everyone yeah. in that room is, is <laughs> it makes it easy for me to judge everyone in that room for what I saw in that two minutes of vlog. Yeah. Yeah. I want to start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as it was reported, the next day I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. Tim, we are talking a lot about the video when that <laughs> doesn't matter, right? Uh, I mean, the video is just evidence of a thing that happened. <laughs> and I, I feel yeah. like he is already going down the wrong track. She sent that text because she felt like she had to. Oh yeah, so for context for this specifically, sure. she basically the next day sent messages like, damn, I, w I was like, I don't remember most of this. Uh, is that gonna be in a vlog and things like that? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Basically, she said that it could be used in a video, but A, she hadn't seen the footage. So right. she's just like- It's hard to prove something that, if you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, from the and night if you don't remember. passed out and <laughs> yeah. can't remember things, but she said yes. So David then used it in the vlogs. Um, and I think subsequently she then asked for it to be uh, taken down mm -hmm. um, and eventually it did get taken down, but it wasn't like a, a very quick thing. Right, so. an immediate thing. When she later reached out a couple months later to take the video down, I immediately took it down and I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their 
safety and values were compromised. I'm so I It didn't make them feel like their safety and, and uh, values I won't speak to because I don't know their values, but their safety was compromised. It's not like oh, you put them in a situation where they feel like their safety was compromised. It was 100% yeah, compromised. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the whole point yeah, of this. There's no yeah. feeling here. Talk about actions are louder than words, right? It was yeah. completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was, that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. I did not know this before. Be wrong, and I wish I was more responsible. Can't be true, right? Yeah, I. You have to be a brain dead fucking moron to not realize that there's a power dynamic, yeah. even slightly, mm -hmm. between fans and the but, creator. And even not right? between fans, because he understands. I. You have to live in this world where Seth is telling the truth, and Seth has told him that, like, hey, this made me uncomfortable, and so like he has firsthand examples of the power dynamic between other content creators or people in his videos, let alone fans who would do anything, right, to be in a yeah. vlog. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on in that room. And I should have been. I should have been there, and I should have been making sure that everybody involved. You didn't know what was going on in that room. Sorry, was David there at that party? Yeah, he was filming everything. But yeah. so he didn't. He didn't know as in he right. assumed it was right. consensual. Okay, I see. So he he knew something was happening. He knew that she drank a shit ton of alcohol, right? And she was under eight, under the drinking age, so she shouldn't have done that, and that they right. supplied it, and that he she went and then slept with. Oh, uh, and they uh, knew that their their sex was happening in that room because they opened the door a couple times and, and yes. describe it. Yeah, I also. I want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against Dom in 2018. I'm talking about Allie, and then I'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly. Not only did I not believe you, but I made a joke of, of what kind of a person Dom was because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend of mine doing this to people and actually hurting people, and, and, and I'm sorry for that. Not only did I platform Dom, but I platformed the subject of sexual in a negative way where I made jokes about it and I reinforced that kind of behavior. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I, I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't address- Oh no, is, is he gonna cry? I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people and that breaks my heart. And I was making all this content while there was people that were still really hurt by what I made. So positive. pause there. The yeah. way he's like, obviously he got really, really emotional there. Um, mm -hmm. You'd think that maybe he would have reached out to some of the people then after this video or before this video. Um, yeah, there are it is so many people that he didn't reach out to. <laughs> it, there's always, you can always do it, right? And doing it on the internet in front of your audience for like their sympathy and still not doing it after is, is bold uh to say yeah. the least yeah as far as i remember uh seth never got so much as a dm or a message apologizing for anything that happened during mm. this mm. the only mention he's ever got was in that first really shitty apology where he says seth i'm sorry mm -hmm. um and then proceeds to say all of the wrong reasons for why he's sorry he mentioned the earlier women who had talked about dom in the past before mm. this incident he didn't message any of those people who would come out and that he'd like denied their stories previously. Mm -hmm. um, there are just and made so jokes many... about them, he says. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are so many people that he has mentioned in this video that he is apparently so upset that he didn't apologize to at the time mm -hmm. and then just never went to apologize to them, <laughs> which right. is like the minimum, the bare minimum that you could do. Right. It's fucking crazy. Especially after doing this video, because it just shows that this video is for him, for his audience, right? For yeah. getting out of trouble and not actually about the people who have been hurt by it. Whether it is these women, the people who have been hurt by Dom, the fact that he platformed yeah. them, Seth, uh, etc. I'm sorry for everybody I've let down. I'm sorry to my family and I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed. God, friends and family who you've embarrassed first? before <laughs> the women yeah. that's is this before video the there are shades of like a, a very nice apology and like understanding a lot of the issues here and then he immediately steps all over that by saying like the worst things of all time right like yeah. the video and entertaining people is what's important it's just oh my god and i want to be able to have a place of checks and balances i want to have hr and i want to be able <laughs> okay, um, pause. to have people let's commute. let's remember this stance this yeah. that sentence there is very very crucial okay and you need to remember this yeah he he wants to have From checks and balances. this point onwards, he wants there to be checks and balances. Yeah. He wants there to be HR. He wants it to be more of an infrastructure so that these bad things can't happen anymore. Right. Uh, which Obviously, is like, I want other be, people to be responsible for my bad actions. You know what I mean? It's not it like would I would be crazy be better, yeah. if after this, 
someone nearly died in one of his vlogs. That would be crazy, right? No, no. Because we can move on from here. He says the rest of the fucking vlog. Who gives a fuck about the rest of his apology? Let's sure. move on to Jeff Wittick and the excavator accident. Okay. So around this time, as in the time of him publishing this apology video, mm -hmm. uh, which I think was in March of 2021, this was his first video back. Wow. Um, so he was trying to get a shit ton of stunts to happen in this video. Okay. So it would be like, bam, oh, wow, this is crazy. We've all come back after COVID and we're all here together and this is so sick. Uh -huh. As one of those stunts, he decided to get an excavator and put it in a lake and attach a rope swing to the end of it and put people on it and spin okay. them around. Like oh, a normal like person, literally you know? spin the excavator and just like yeet them in a circle. Yeah, he being fucking David Dobrik tried yeah. to one up and one up and one up uh -huh. and ended up going too far. Um, okay. So I will give a warning to this because you don't see any of the injury necessarily, mm -hmm. but it's hard to watch. He Jeff is going to hit his head very hard Oof. on the excavator. But this is raw, unedited. Uh, this is what happened. Holy, that's him up there right now? That's Jeff. Yeah. And David is the person, very importantly, the person controlling the excavator. Oh, so David's not, not holding the camera. He's he's literally in here right now. Well, he's also holding a, a camera he at the same time. He is also holding the camera. Yeah. yeah. He has no license for this. He has no training in how to use it. Uh -huh. He is just being a fucking moron. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Fuck. So David's controlling it. Yeah. And look how like close David is. Notice he's like the last person to get to them. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It was about the the injury was about an inch away from him dying. Apparently, <sighs> uh, he has had multiple counts of surgery on his eye. Mm -hmm. um, to stop him, A, from going blind, and B, to try and repair the damage that was done to his face. Uh -huh. Jeff went through, like, so many traumatic moments of, like, am I going to lose my face forever? Am I going to die? You know, mm -hmm. it's... He's done a whole entire series based around this, revealing the truth, because when this happened, they kept it quiet. And it felt like Jeff was, like, under pressure to keep it quiet because... Oh, so this, this obviously wasn't in the vlog. No, he didn't this upload like this in the vlog anymore. Oh, he never even uploaded it. Okay, sorry, I didn't even understand that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so th they were trying to create this amazing fucking crazy video uh -huh. after saying, hey, I'm going to hold myself accountable. We're going to put, uh, like, a system in place. There's going to yeah. be HR. Nothing's hey, gonna go HR wrong. said don't upload the video, which <laughs> is an improvement. <laughs> they uploaded a video of his friend assaulting women. Uh, I would I would prefer them to upload this uh -huh. because at least then it's out there that David has done a shitty thing, right? right the right, fact right. that they hid it and that we didn't find out until like a year, two years later uh -huh. is crazy. If you want more information on the matter, uh -huh. uh, you should check out Jeff Wittick. He did a video series documentary. Don't try this at home. Yeah, it's, it's a really good uh, documentary, but it's really good. You should uh -huh. go check it out. Got give it. Jeff the views. Yeah, yeah I will. Right. I will. So yeah, unfortunately, none of this affected David Dobrik at all. He, uh -huh. if you go to his channel, he went to Snapchat yeah, for a little David. bit <laughs> and got like fucking millions and millions and millions of dollars after all of this drama happened, but was also still uploading videos. Right. Yeah, with ago. millions of views, not just uploading videos. Because sometimes you'll see people like, oh yeah, they still upload on YouTube, and it's like fifty thousand views, <laughs> eleven million views, yeah. nine million views, eight million views, ten million views. Any YouTuber right now would be happy with eight to nine million views a video. Oh right? yeah. Of course. I mean, honestly, it's not even that much less than, than what it was. Like, he had some some pop offers, but, like, his average video, yeah, was still around there. So that's it. For better or worse, he revolutionized vlogging mm -hmm. and did some really, really bad things mm -hmm. and created a very toxic situation uh, in his vlogs. Uh, does he still have friends? Like, obviously, he's hanging out with Corinna, but it, obviously, <laughs> he's not... Does he still have friends? No, like, for the vlog squad. Like, is he still hanging out? Obviously, Seth, I assume, yeah, they're not he's, talking. he's or... still... With every single person that we've seen that mm -hmm. hasn't been mentioned, he is mm -hmm. friends with he's even friends with jeff still currently i'm pretty sure they like really he the david is featured in the like documentary series and mm -hmm. uh they're like oh we'll jump out of a plane together that'll make it okay and then mm -hmm. they jump out of plane and then they're our best of friends so ah interesting but stands yes one good thing came out of all of this is this gonna be a segue into the next uh vlog miss vlog there was one budding new creator fresh out of a job at SourceFed that got inspired by david's vlog style and wanted to put his own creative twist on it okay who is it 
dude, the Sugar Pine 7 deep dive is part of two trilogies. The case <laughs> is that to David Dobrik to Sugar He's Pine the chosen 7. one. He has to get in there. Because you really have to understand David Dobrik's style to to appreciate what Sugar Pine 7 was doing. Right, which is um, vlogging, but with obviously scripted skits and like a little bit of comedy involved, yeah. right? Blurring the line between reality and comedic bits, mm -hmm. but in a good way, in a positive way, and none of the cringe parts of David Dobrik. So right. it's very, very sick. I'm very excited to dive down into that, but that might not be the next deep dive we do for Divemus. So stick what? around, subscribe. Wow. It okay. might not be next. You never it know when it's going to happen. You never know.